What's going on guys? Tanner here, Denver, Colorado, and I'm actually across the street from the job site. I'm over here at the neighbor's house, bumming some Wi-Fi, trying to get this video uploaded from yesterday because guys, we've got tons of pond stuff that you're gonna love seeing, and I just can't wait to get it uploaded. We're about 82% on the upload right now. As soon as this video finishes, I'm going across the street. We've got stuff going on over there right now that I don't know anything about. I've never seen any of that happening before, and I'm excited to get over there and not only learn it myself, but show you guys everything that's taking place as well. So stick with me. We'll be over there in just a few minutes. And guys, you're all, including myself, we're all going to be blown away together. All right, guys, you want to talk about some slow Wi-Fi? I have been trying to upload that video now that I just got on YouTube for more than four hours. I've missed all kinds of progress over here that I wanted to show you, but there's still a ton of stuff that I'm excited to show all of you right now. So I'm about to flip it around and I'm gonna begin taking all of you throughout this entire project that we've got going on. And it is a wild one, guys, check it out. So guys, this is my buddy Kyle's house. And in this front yard right here, look guys, yesterday they scraped every bit of the organics completely out off this yard. Every bit of that soil is in the dumpster now. And look at these giant rolls of turf. And let me give you a closer look, guys, because this is gonna be some fake grass. It's gonna be the greenest grass in all of Colorado. And what they're doing now, they're getting the sand layer down and getting all that leveled out and compacted in place. And then this turf is gonna go over the top of all this. I'll show you more of it as we make further progress. It's gonna be a sea of green, all of this, and I can't wait to see it. And moving along from the front yard now, we'll go down this side alleyway of the house and around back here. This is where all the pond project is taking place. Look guys, I've already missed the underlayment going down. The liner is already in place. You'll see we've got a bottom drain on this project, guys. We've got Demi here going through stuff, so I don't want to interrupt him. Guys, check it out. We've got all the rocks over here that's going to be going inside this project. Man, there's some nice rocks here. Take a look at all that. And every bit of this, look how big that is, guys right up against the patio. Gonna be able to sit right here and feed the fish. Take a look at it close, guys. Got our skimmer right here. All that's gonna be returned up there to our Bile Falls area. It's gonna to be totally awesome. Stay tuned, guys. We'll show you more of it as soon as we get some more progress made. And coming up the other side alleyway now is my buddy Jason. He is the master machine operator. This guy's got more equipment, guys, than anyone that I know. Guys, we're down here inside the pond now, and I want to talk a little bit about this bottom drain. I personally have never seen a project with a bottom drain, but this is our Awasa bottom drain pump. Which model is this, Jeff? Aquamax Eco Premium 4000. This is our Aquamax Eco Premium 4000, and that is a pump in itself directing this water up into this skimmer. And inside this skimmer here, Jeff, go ahead and let them know which pump it's going to have feeding this entire project. We're gonna put our TT9000 in here. We're gonna split it off to a bubbling rock, about 1,500 gallons going to that. We'll send about 6,000 gallons up to our fast falls, 26 inch. And that'll make our beautiful waterfall down into this system. This Awasa pump is actually gonna be feeding a uh, Awasa a schematic, which also has biological material in it. And that'll clean the pond perfectly, polish it to beautiful clear. It's gonna be amazing. I guarantee it's going to be. And guys, you've been seeing us do all these giant swim ponds on the internet. And what I want to talk about right now is usually when you see us doing a swim pond, we've got to do swim pumps to fit code because you can't have any electrical hazards. Well, you need to know right now, this Awasa pump in the bottom is grounded on its own. This fits code for all swim ponds. So any of you watching right now that wants to get a swim pond in your yard, this is the bomb, guys. Guys, Jeff and I are up here discussing that pump again right now and I want to show you guys something typically when you have a bottom drain in a pond like that you've got to first cut the liner to give access for this to go up through the liner and you got to seam all that back and hope like heck you didn't leave any leaks well with our new Owase bottom drain pump there is no liner to be cut 
that's actually just sitting on top of the liner itself so you don't have to worry about any leaks guys and you want to talk about some super filtration you want to talk about pond filtration on steroids come up here with me now and take a look at this Awasa filter that we've got going on here guys this thing's got built-in UV this thing's got built-in skimmer action it dumps all the waste right here it can be drained out with just a little hand pump guys I've never seen anything like it it is pond pump filtration to the max there is nothing in the game beating this right here all the way from Germany so if you've got a pond and you want the best products you can get worldwide hit me up now guys at pondartist.com check it out guys Jason has got a huge boulder strapped up now and Demi is getting ready to put that boulder right there and what they're doing right now currently is excavating out a pocket so that that boulder is going to sit perfectly inside and we don't have to worry about that thing tilting over and falling down into the pond or anything like that so in just a moment i'll give you guys a finish shot of what it looks like once we get that rock in place stay with me so demi just finished with the excavation shane actually tamped all that dirt down and now demi just put the piece of underlayment down that that huge boulder is getting ready to sit down on top of check it out guys one rock at a time. You already know how we do it. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. Come down slow. And go over just a little, two, two inches this way. Good, right there, come down slow. I'm just gonna keep it rolling here, guys, and give you guys a full shot of how tedious it actually is trying to place boulders of that size. See guys, they're getting ready to have to lift it, spin it, turn it, flip it. I'll give you guys a finished shot of it once we get it finalized. All right guys, check it out. We've got several of the large boulders in place now, and these are coming quite a bit up out of the water column, and I wanna tell you all why right now. Because on the back side of these rocks right here, this is gonna be a fire pit area, and these rocks that you see right here are actually gonna be the sitting rocks that people can come sit around this fire pit that's gonna be right here. Right there where you see that post coming out of the ground, this is gonna be an outdoor kitchen area, and we've got the best grill and outdoor kitchen products you can buy right here, guys. If you guys haven't seen these bull outdoor products, and their quality of products is unlike any grills that I've ever seen in person. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll have this entire pond rocked in just momentarily. Demi and Shane are down here now, guys, continuing the rocking process inside the pond. I'm gonna give you guys a slow pan shot of what we've got done so far to this point. Remember this higher wall, what's on the other side of that, guys? There's gonna be an awesome fire pit. So just so you know, we've got Gerard over here and David, they've been getting this skimmer set in place. They've almost got it completed now. And once we get this skimmer finished, we'll get the pump set and finish up hooking up the return. It's one of the biggest boulders of the project, guys. We've all been over here wrestling this thing, trying to get it in place here. Check it out. I'll give you a slow pan shot to the right real quick. We're making our way around this pond slowly but surely. And once we finish getting this monster in place here, we'll be able to wrap this up going back over to our skimmer, and then we can focus on going up to our waterfalls. Shane and Demi just got this final boulder set on this ledge right here, guys, and that completed our cove going into our skimmer here. Check it out now. It looks totally different from what it looked like just a few short hours ago. It's getting later in the evening here today. Not certain how much more progress we'll make on this project today, but stay tuned, guys, because we got lots more to go, and it's going to be a spectacular, amazing build, and I can't wait to show it to you. Day two over here at the Amazing Pond Project in Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you guys all an update on this artificial turf front yard that we're doing now. This is gonna be so crazy, guys. It's gonna be the greenest yard in all of Colorado. Wait, I know there's some pretty heavy green here. Done found out myself. <laughs> this will be the quietest this job site is all day. 
Jason is getting ready now to fire up the machines. Guys, I've seen many, many machine operators, and I'm just telling you right now, that right there is one of the best machine operators I have ever witnessed. Look at all the rocks that we've already got stacked around the pond. Stay tuned, guys, for more, because before the end of the day, all that's going to be rocked, and I'm hoping that we'll actually have some water in here. We're all up here right now, cutting in our shells for our waterfalls. Yeah, I'll take you guys right along through here now. We've got all our underlayment rolled back. We've got our liner pulled back. What we're getting ready to do now is after we get all this cut in, we'll go back over all that with our underlayment. Our liner will go over all that, and then we'll begin stacking our rock for our waterfalls. Stay tuned, I'll show it all to you shortly. As you guys already know, we take our smaller grade river rock and we like to come inside here and backfill behind all of the gaps in our boulders securing up the rocks in place here so that you can come through here and simply stand securely on each and every single rock excuse me i'm sorry about that my bad but you can see guys how we're filling up all these voids great job man and we're still over here cutting in the shells making our way up for the waterfalls look at jason now cutting this in with the excavator we've got some crazy irish guy here sir tell everybody what your name is real quick the crazy happy Irish pond alert, Gerard! Oh! <laughs> so guys, check him out on YouTube, Facebook, Water Features by Gerard. We've got Art of the Yard in the house, Heath and Shane. Some of the best pond builders in the entire nation are right here on this job site, guys. Stay tuned, this is all going to be amazing. And you can see Jason still hard at it there, guys. You can probably tell now some of the shape that's starting to take place in those waterfalls. You can see that big mega drop that he's creating right now, which will eventually drop over into the main body of the pond. I just like sitting here watching him work that excavator, guys. It's really cool when somebody's got the talent that he's got, sitting there watching them how precise they can get that blade. Look at him right up against that fabric. I'd be afraid to touch those controls right now. I'd be afraid I'd ruin this whole project. Stay with us, guys. It's gonna be really, really cool. And in the last couple minutes, guys, look at all the progress that has taken place on these shelves. Jason is putting the finishing touches on them now, and what? Can't even make a freaking video because of you guys. Hello? This is Motel. What? This is Jerry. My friend Jerry. His name changes every person I talk to. you got more names than anyone I've ever in met. Colorado, it's Jerry. <laughs> it's and, Jerry, that's right. We're in Colorado. Colorado. It's Gerard. In Pennsylvania, it's the crazy happy Irish pond builder. He has something to say. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, I didn't, but I'm laughing anyway. Good. He said, we'll repeat it. What was it? I have to be polite. I'm sorry. Back over here in the front yard now, guys. This product is called Easy Turf. Check out how green it is. And what's getting ready to happen now is we're getting ready to go back over this with our sweeper. And it's just sitting here rolling, rolling, rolling. And what it's gonna do is push all of this upright. And you guys, I don't know if I can give you, I don't know if I can do it any justice right here. But once all that gets stood up, this is gonna to appear to be just a perfectly mowed yard and he's never gonna to have to mow. We're still working on backfilling behind all of our larger boulders and we've gotten several set now up here on our waterfalls area and I don't want to take for granted and not showing you guys what we continually show each of you when we're trying to get this water to come out over these rocks. So I'm going to give you a close up right here as to how we come back in and foam you'll see here in behind all of these rocks because we do not want to leave any open voids. So for any of you DIYers or if any of you rookie pond contractors if you leave these open void spaces right here and you're trying to get this water to come out and go over and drop into that pond you're going to be losing the the largest percentile of your water back in here inside these open void areas so guys take our atlantic waterfall foam the best foam on the market and be sure to fill all of your open spaces before coming back in and backfilling with all of your smaller grade river rock so that when this water is coming out it's not getting lost right here and it's going all the way over and crashing down inside your main pond if you can see behind me there cameron is back there washing all the rocks off now guys we're waiting to get the pump over here now to pump that dirty water out getting ready to fill the pond back up with all of our clean fresh water and i'm going to take a real quick moment to turn the camera around 
and go over a few things with you that I wish someone would have went over with me whenever I first started doing ponds. So hopefully what I'm about to tell you and share with you will help some of you watching. Check this out. Notice we have not trimmed any liner or done any edge work at this point in time. But what I wanted you to pay attention to right here is this rock right here, this destination boulder that I'm standing on. This water level is gonna be about one inch up onto this rock. So kind of like right down in this area here. So look how far back and how much extra liner we have that we don't even really need for the water level. Now look, when we get outside of here, look at where this liner goes, follow it with your eyes, and now look. This is what we call outcroppings. And these are larger boulders that we set outside of the liner, completely out of it entirely. You'll see one over there as well. There's one back there behind all of that. And guys, that's what's gonna help create the natural look that you're going for that makes these things look like we just went up there in those mountains and yanked them out and put it right down inside this yard. So let me go real slow and give you a slow pan shot one more time. Pay attention to what I was just talking about and look close for the rocks that you see within the liner column of this pond project and take a look at the rocks you see outside of it. That way here in a little bit, when we get this thing wrapped up, you'll be able to go back and look inside this video at how we created the natural edge work that you're gonna see when it's all finished. Take a look at some of the colors in the rocks now that are starting to pop out, guys. Now those rocks are getting clean and now all that water is gonna be working its way right over here to our skimmer area. And you'll see the black top lid of that skimmer right now. I can stand on that lid, but take a look at what Jeff is putting on top of it now. Jeff, tell them a little bit about that piece of fake rock that covers that. So that rock lid is a fiberglass lid. We have four different colors that match up to almost any stone you can think of. And what it does, it gives that natural look so you don't even know where the skimmer is once it's in place. This is a very strong lid too, so you can step on it, whatever, in case some kids want to play around here. It's just a great product. And it looks great. That is actually the best looking fake rock that I have ever seen before. <laughs> oh! And guys, I mentioned our Awasa bottom pump in the bottom of this pond. That pump there is actually returning water up here as well. But all this surface water is gonna be being pulled into our skimmer system and returned up to our waterfalls area. And I would like to turn the segment over now to the president of Atlantic and Awasa North America and tell you all a little bit about our waterfall spillway. Take it away, Jeff. So these are Atlantic Fast Falls. This particular unit's an SP2600. We also make it in a 3800 and a 19. And then we have our small unit here too that we're gonna also install, which is a 1600. So that's 16 inch and uh, 29 inch here. So the great thing about these are very easily attached on the back side. Just silicone it. We have a nice flange that goes over top. You, you screw that in, put your pipe in, and you're good to go. So that's gonna sit in here somewhere like this, push our water out, give us a beautiful flow. This will handle 8,000 gallons per hour. But the great thing about this product, we're gonna be able to put a ton rock on top of it. It will not crush that spillway down and do what we want it to do. And you know what? We use these in Florida, in Key West, Florida, and we put the biggest boulders you've, I've ever used in my life on top of them. Oh my God, you wouldn't even know they were there. Amazing. And real fast guys, Tell everyone watching how long you've been installing ponds, Gerard. 20 years. How many spillway product features have you went through in your tenure of building ponds? A boatload. And is that product right there, is it or is it not the best waterfall spillway you have ever used in your life? It's the best. You heard it here, folks. Coming up here to give you guys another update on the turf project. And we've got my man Kyle Weemhoff now going around the perimeter of the project installing the perimeter anchors. Those anchors will go around the entire outside perimeter of this project. Once all the anchoring is done, we will begin the sweeping process, make all of this turf stand up and look more like the natural grass. Check it out guys, he's beginning to sweep the turf now. And that's actually working all the polymeric sand down into here, securing it all and actually bringing all of that turf up making it look more like natural grass just like i mentioned earlier and i'll give you guys a full finish shot here shortly check it out guys the water level is rising the rocks are all in place 
finishing touches are taking place right now as we speak at the very top. The water level has almost reached the proper height inside the skimmer, and we're minutes away, guys, from turning it all on and seeing this brand new project come to life. Friends, all my friends back home that love outdoor grilling, let me tell you something. If you think you've got a grill, you've seen those eggs, let me tell you, you want to see the top of the line, you want to see the cream of the crop, you need to be knowing about boil products. We've got a warehouse full of this product in Athens, Tennessee, but I'm here right now with my man John Fay, all the way from where, John? Tucson. Tucson, Arizona, is that right? That's Make right. sure I got the right state here. Listen, guys, I'm going to let John show you a little bit about why boil is at the top of the charts when it comes to grills check this out so guys what you're seeing here is actually one solid kit this came all on this pallet we're getting all this set up as we speak check out the refrigeration check out this top 304 stainless steel john tell them about the lifetime guarantees well we do the lifetime on the whole shell the grates that you cook on and on the burner pull that burner out and show them a little bit about what quality looks like Woo. A little hot on you, and guys, we've had this fired up real quick, but guys, it's so top of the line, you had to see it. Check out this burner. Show them how all those holes are drilled so that we've got even flame coming so, all the way across. Yeah, the smaller holes out to the ends and then larger holes in the beginning. And this will get equal distribution heat throughout the whole grill, so you don't get that real hot spot. Wow. And, uh, real cool. Real easy to remove, to clean. Place. Put the burner on. Turn the knob and you're cooking. Wow, it was that easy? That easy. Bam. Four burners, rotisserie. I was getting ready to say, what we got here? A little rotisserie? Yeah, rotisserie, back burner for that. We'll remove the top grate and uh, we're set to go. And John, how awesome do you think this is going to be sitting here grilling these steaks and overlooking this magnificent pond that we're working on right now? The best. <laughs> we have backyards. Check so. it out, guys. The fire is burning. It's hot, hot, hot. Hit me up today if you want to find out more about our outdoor line of Bull Kitchen products. Watch how fast that water is being pulled into that skimmer. That is by far the most powerful pump I have seen on any pond install that I have been part of. Listen to these waterfalls, guys. I'm not even sure if you can hear me talking right now. And I know I've been told, I'm pretty loud. So guys, the crew is getting ready to come back around here now. They're gonna begin doing all the planning work, getting the rest of all this edge work done. We got a few more rocks to place, but I've gotta go catch a flight, guys. So I'm about to hurry up, go hop on a train, head to the airport, get back to Tennessee, and guys, I want to thank each and every single one of you for following our progress in this pond build. It's been an amazing build, guys, and I feel very fortunate to have been part of it. I want to say thank you to each and every contractor that I worked alongside on this build. You guys all blew me away. Thank you all for taking me around, showing me all your projects. Thank you to Jeff Weemhoff for bringing me out from Tennessee and introducing me more to all the Atlantic products and all the Owasa products. And I was excited to see them, but after laying my hands on them and working with them, dude, it's another level, guys. So for all you contractors out there that's looking to add another service to your existing business, if you want to add pawns to your repertoire, hit me up, guys, and we'll get you started and get you linked up with the best in the business. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Don't forget to drop me a like and leave me a comment, guys, because, hey, you already know I do my absolute best to answer each and every comment left on this channel. Thank you for joining me, guys. Let's get up in the air, and we'll talk to each and every single one of you in that next video. See you.